Hello, everybody, and welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael, and I have a special guest with me today, Iron Maddie. How are you doing, buddy? Hello, I'm doing well, thank you. How are you doing? Doing good, and I'm really excited to take a look at this park. This has been one that I've kind of had my eyes on for a couple weeks, wanting to take a look at. It's called Wildwood Valley Theme Park, and the description just basically says um, a frontier western theme park. And so, as you can kind of see the overview here, um, I mean, what are your initial initial reactions, initial thoughts? I like the fact that obviously this is now the second time that I've come and done a spotlight on your channel, and both times you've shown me a park that I've never seen before. Um, this is not a park that I have seen on the workshop. This is completely brand new to me. So everything in this park is going to be complete raw reactions i've not seen anything i've not seen any of the rides or nothing so i'm i'm very excited as an overview it looks awesome yeah and i will say i haven't ridden any of the coasters because i want all that to be obviously like live reaction i have just taken a little bit look around just to kind of see how everything look i mean you can see the river rapids there in the background um i mean this looks this looks amazing mm. and is um, this a playstation 5 park uh let me see no it's playstation 4 Oh really? Wow, that's yeah. a, that's even more impressive because this mm -hmm. looks like a PS5 park with the amount of detail in it. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, and one thing too, and you know, is a lot of times we get so caught up on seeing what the what the park looks like from an uh, aerial point of view, right? Um, and so if you see kind of these hard, rough edges, it doesn't really necessarily look great when you're looking from above, but. You know, when you're actually down near the park, like that's what helps give it that that look of actually being in the mountains, right? Mm -hmm. Because you can't see beyond the borders. And so I really kind of like what this creator has done right here with that, um, just because it really, I'm, I'm sure once we're down in the park looking around, it's going to really feel immersive. Yeah, yeah, that that was pretty much the word I was just thinking of. Um, immersive. Um, you're like you're really in the zone, and nothing like no horrible outside borders distracting you and breaking that immersion. For sure, for sure. Oh, and I wanted to say, I should have said this right away, buddy, but I'm glad to hear you're doing better. And um, oh, thank you. glad to see that we can, uh, that we're back making some content and stuff, and obviously back on the mend. So. Yeah, I'm getting there. It's um, it's a long road, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's not like I'm going to be better in a couple of days or anything. It's going to be a couple of months recovery, but I'm getting there. I've still got more tests and whatnot to come, but yeah, I'm getting there. I'm starting to feel a bit more myself so yeah thank you very much i'm getting that for sure well at least you know what's going on too now instead of the unknown so that's yeah that's gotta it's gotta be good too but yeah so uh let's get started with this park tour all right so we're here at the entrance to the park um and I'm, we're not going to do flip cam mode but i'm gonna try to stay as close to the ground for a lot of this just because from the immersion factor and as you can see, looking to the left and to the right, water, I mean, water. I know, right? That is that is I your go-to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not just water. You got rocks. You got waterfall. There's your uh, your specialty, man. So that's I mean, that's beautiful as you come into this the park. This was a really good spotlight. I enjoyed this. Thank you for having me along. <laughs> this was a brilliant park. We're yep. done. We don't need to see any more. That's it. it. I'm happy. It could be the worst roller coasters ever, and it would be brilliant just because of the water feature here. For Maddie. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is just beautiful, man. I mean, right as you come in, you've got these these uh, seating areas. Now, I don't know if those are actually accessible. My guess is no. They're probably more just for show. But either way, that looks awesome. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Um, great, great terraforming and foliage mm -hmm. use and water use. Looks amazing. Just very immersive and beautifully done. For sure. And so right away we come in, we got some stalls, we got some food. And all right, so Wildwood Valley. So the question is going to the right or to the left? That's the that's the million dollar question right there. Go left. Go left, all right. Let's go, go left. left. Yeah. Well, and I like the the um, the buildings because you know just adding that extra kind of trim just adds the detail, right? So it's not just mm -hmm. the trim. You've got the the little um, flower baskets. You've got the rope. It's just all those little things make it stand out to where it's not just a normal basic square building. So yeah, I like the different. I really like these buildings because you've got different uh, textures as well. So mm -hmm. on the building on the left, you've got the vertical. 
Um, no, I'm sorry, horizontal wood pieces, I'm sorry. Right. And then on the building just to the right, you've got black stone at the bottom, and then... Oh, is it all black stone? I'm it's sorry. all black yeah, stone. Black stone. It, was, it was the light, I'm sorry. Um, the light made it look different textures. But even still, having these two buildings next to each other that are like kind of different textures like, mm -hmm. really add to it and make it look fantastic. Well, I never even thought either about using that that rough that rough brick or uh, rough brick and coloring it black to kind of create that that look. So I mean, I think that looks perfect. So we got hot air balloons, which we won't ride those, but let's kind of take a look from it because oh, look at this queue. This is the part where you walk by the waterfall. Look at that Stunning view. Stunning queue line, yeah, amazing. Yeah. And it's and they've used your technique as well um, of elevating black rides. Um, I know mm -hmm. that that's something that you and Jasmine and Corey like to do is elevate your flat rides off the ground so they're not like perfectly level with the ground and it's something that I'm going to be doing moving forward because it really does add to a park is just that elevation change with your flat rides. Yeah for sure. Um, I don't do it on everyone but it definitely does make a difference. Um, and so I wonder so this must all be elevated and it just put the rocks there to kind of make it seem like it's level. Um, but yeah, so right away, look at this coaster. I mean, this building that this Gershlauer coaster comes out of is that just looks awesome. That looks so... more like a PC build, you know. Than a, oh, it than does. A build. Yeah, and that's nothing against console build. It's just it's, you know, one thing. A lot of times too, it's like the PC players have had like four years at of extra practice on us console players so <laughs> because I mean the building in this game is a learning curve for sure. But look, oh, I mean 100%. just. The detail here is just amazing. Like, I'm still trying to get used to building buildings, but, I mean, the detail is just phenomenal on this building. And so it looks like it's used some of those, um, what are those called, the supports? The mm -hmm. Yeah, like kind of the iron girders kind of things. Like yeah, the it's the iron support, scaffolding, the yeah. And then, I mean, look at this, though. You've got, um, you've got that sandstone. You've got the wood. I mean, just this is amazing, and this kind of reminds me, honestly, of the. Um, uh, there's a roller coaster in Germany. It's like the largest Gerslauer coaster. It kind of goes up and in, indoors and drops you like 200 feet. But this is what this reminds me of. But yeah, this is awesome, man. This is really cool. And so it looks like is this a? Tr I'm trying to see what this is. This looks like it's a. Oh, that's a. Oh my gosh, a log flume. I, I didn't even see there was a log flume in here. <laughs> where's, the, where's the log flume at what point was there a log flume i didn't even see that from the overview that is so well hidden oh my gosh oh my gosh like yeah i mean i didn't even oh sorry now we're going inside buildings but yeah look at that that's amazing all right so we'll definitely definitely take a a ride on that but let's go ahead and start with the coaster here and i mean just the, the entrance Got yeah there. no kidding oh i think here this is it uh for Oh gosh. Okay, Outlaw Caverns, Forbidden Shafts. I think Outlaw Caverns is the. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so childish. Leave it up to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this is it's yeah. Like this being is the back coaster. In college again. There was lots of forbidden shafts there. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. The only thing I'd say is um these rocks are a little bit too close to the guests because they're walking through it and I think their their heads are about to get smacked. So, yep, or at least that guy's. But, I mean, it's a cool thought for, like, the, the queue area. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, so let's... Um, what a cool station as well. Yeah, this is, uh, this is phenomenal. Um, I think we're probably going to need to ride this one at night. So let's go ahead and turn it to night, and we'll ride the coaster. And before we ride it, though, real quick, let's look at stats. Sometimes I forget to look at the stats, but... Um, so the results, max speed, 60 miles per hour. Um, vertical Gs are a little bit high, but it's all good at the end of the day. Uh, biggest drop. So yeah, everything is good. Three inversions, and we'll see you guys after the coaster.
All right, Maddie. So what were your thoughts on that coaster? I'm going to be honest. It's difficult to put into words um, because of just how good it was. I've seen lots of good coasters in this game. The pair of us have done a lot of spotlights over the past Oh, for sure. Months, and we see some incredible builds. But for actual theming of a ride... I think this is the best I've ever seen um, on console. The theming all the way around. It's all well and good telling a story, like uh, Magic mm -hmm. Mike's Ride the Movies and things like that, these interactive story rides. But And then you've got, obviously, NH99's uh, Planco Frontierland. But for theming all the way through, I think this is arguably one of the best I've seen. I think it was incredible. I totally agree. Um, I mean, now... <laughs> We see how this is at 100% on the PS4 with only two coasters and a couple water rides in the park. I mean, just look at the detail of we're going up the lift chain now. And I mean, like, what in the world? Like, how many how many wheels did he place, right? Or how many um, of those little wooden planks for those designs on the wall? And then you get here, and it's like, where are you dropping to? Like... <laughs> we both was, said that didn't we as we were going around both of us were like well where are you going gosh it's almost like a saw movie where you gotta like get out of a trap or something or or you fall down into a saw <laughs> I wanna uh, play a game. yes matty you have been <laughs> taking your life for granted um <laughs> live or die make your choice um it's just amazing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's no other words to be said, and I think definitely. That was definitely... a good impression, by the way, as well. That was really good. I'm impressed. That was that actually freaked me out a little bit. Oh, uh, you don't have to lie. It's all good. But I appreciate it, man. <laughs> no, this is this this coaster is just unbelievable. Like I'm just blown away at the detail here, and I mean, look at all the stories too. Like I mean, obviously it's well, actually it's not even just like copy and paste, right? Like every floor has like a different layout a little bit right in terms of the barrels and different stuff and so just the the detail to not necessarily just do the same thing over and over is just insane wow all right um anything else or i i, I don't know what else to add um i'm i'm just completely blown away absolutely i'm so thankful that you've shown me this park because this is one that i would have missed and i'm really grateful that you invited me along to come and see this because I, I would have been sad to have missed this. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh, and I guess we should probably say, by the way, um, since we spent a long time getting frustrated by it, for those of you that are on PlayStation, PlayStation 5, and you're trying to PS share and stuff, um, for some reason with the new update, they automatically turned off the allow party audio chat, right? Is that the one we had to we had to change? Um, yeah, in the capture settings. Um, so in capture settings, um, it defaulted back to not allowing party chat, which was obviously set before because we've done joint spotlights before. Mm -hmm. and we spent a good half an hour trying to work out why our own voices <laughs> weren't coming through the video. And there was um, lots of naughty language used, mostly from Michael. Oh, um, I... <laughs> I, I remained calm the entire time. I was like, oh dear, why doesn't this appear to be working? <laughs> but yeah, we found out eventually. Yeah, Maddie was a perfect gentleman. I he even said, he, he even said, oh gosh, oh darn <laughs> oh, it. Oh golly gosh. Oh good golly, Miss Molly. All right, um, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I feel like this park is best viewed at night. What do you think? Um, or at least, with, at least with the rides. Um... I don't know. I, I I think it looks amazing at night, but I actually like viewing it in the day as well. Um, well, let's do yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll, let's go for the right. Let's go for the log flume at night. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. After the log flume, we'll go back to daytime. Is normally I don't like necessarily looking at parks too much at night. Um, but yeah. So instead of actually going for a full ride on this, let's just kind of follow the the track. Can we actually go for a ride? Oh, Can you want to actually, actually go for a ride? Yeah, I've got a feeling that this might have triggers. Uh, oh it looks yeah, you're like right. The type of park that is going to have triggers. So. You're right. All right, yeah, we'll go for a ride on that. Thank you for pointing that out, because I just didn't even think of that, to be honest. So, all right, guys, we'll see you after. Actually, you know what? Since this is, um, let's see, because we might want to point stuff uh, out as we go along on this. So, 
Let's see, I think that's the one we just left. But yeah, we'll we'll kind of talk throughout this if we need to. Um, yeah, it's a log flume, isn't it? You can generally talk to a log flume. It's not <laughs> too loud. It's not like a coaster. Yeah. Sorry, guys. For those of you that are wondering why I was stumbling over my words there, when we do this um, this uh, joint spotlight, um, I record the POV separately just to pick up the audio of the coaster and stuff. Um, but since this isn't a coaster, you know, we can go ahead and talk through this. And, I mean, already just the, the detail is awesome. Oh, wow. It's like a full-on, uh, um, what would the term be? A Western brawl, even though that's not yeah. the a shootout. <laughs> now, this is beautiful right here. You see the, the lift hill for the coaster? Wow. Some beautiful sight lines. This is more of an experience than a ride. Mm-hmm. This building is just incredible. I can't get over that building, you know. Oh, I, I agree. I just want I just want to know from this creator how tedious was it placing all those ropes and <laughs> all the little detail that's just on the building. Or I wonder if the creator kind of placed it on an individual piece and just simply copied the entire the entire piece. You know what I'm saying? Like the entire uh, the entire wall to where that would save a lot of time. What was the name of the creator again? I'm sorry. Oh, you know what? Um, I've got it right here. While we're... Oh, look at that drop. Wow. I'm glad we came for a ride. Mm-hmm. You know, I think I did forget to say the, the creator's name at the beginning. It's um, Train Man Evan. Train Man Evan. Mm -hmm. It's not a name I'm familiar with, but judging from this park, how... Is this not a person that we are familiar with? Um, yeah, no I kidding. I very much hope that um, Train Evan gets in touch with either myself or, or with you because this is a creator that I would like to get to know and maybe invite into some groups as well because this is mind-blowing. Um, for somebody with this kind of talent to go under the radar is criminal. <laughs> I agree. I mean, look at this building just... Good gosh. Yeah, you're right. I mean, that was that was more like an experience, right? Like it was it wasn't necessarily about the log flume, although they did have that one big drop, which was pretty pretty phenomenal. But it's just the experience of it. So let's kind of oops, hold on. There's one part you I wanna watched, um Little Rock Ridge, didn't you? The Moomin Little Socks series. Yes, yeah. Um, where he did the collab with all the other creators. There was a log flume that was built for that park that was mm -hmm. sensational. Oh, phenomenal. I'm actually gonna go out on a whim here and say that this is as good as that log flume that was built in Little Rock Ridge. And that I think that's quite a bold statement because that log flume was beyond next level. And I mm -hmm. think this is comparable. Yeah, I, I honestly think this is... I'm going to go beyond what you said there, and I'm going to say this is the best log flume I've seen in Planet Coaster, period. Not console, not just on console, like, just the theming, the sight lines, and, like, that. you're right, that log flume in Moomin series was phenomenal. Um, the one thing it lacked was a hill, right? And so this yeah. one's kind of got your Splash Mountain-type drop where... Um, you got a big hill kind of at the end. And so I think that kind of takes the cake in terms of that aspect of it. But, I mean, just the theming, the sight lines, I mean, this is, like, this is phenomenal. Unbelievable. I don't understand. What is baffling me, what I'm finding most confusing in this park is how we have never heard of this creator before. Um, because, obviously, both myself and you have now got involved in various communities mm -hmm. and groups and things like that. And we are familiar with a lot of the big PlayStation creators. How has this guy slipped under the radar is, is beyond me. Um, because this is incredible. Um, this Literally, everybody should be looking at this park because it's so good. Yeah, for sure. Well, I'm glad this is, I'm glad this is the park I chose for us to spotlight together. <laughs> yeah, same. Um, I mean, yeah, the other ones I had in mind are fantastic, too. Uh, but this is just, I mean, it's its otherworldly, you know? Like, um, you know, that one thing I would say is this is a little too jam-packed here. We have a critique. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a bottleneck point. The shops are causing it, aren't they? There's too many people queuing for the shops. And yeah. It's just com compounding the issue and it's just causing this bottleneck. Yeah. So I think, and I think you'd agree with me on this, what could have been done here is either to extend this path and make it, because it looks like a 10 meter path. Um, so you could have tried to double it up or you could have just shifted this back um, four to eight meters to give space for the guests to kind of queue for the for the food and stuff. Well, the building is actually too deep. If you actually look, it, the, the building does go further back. So maybe oh, you know, like kind of the shops could be moved back inside and you could have the canopy going over the top still. Um, yeah. So like the, there's more than enough room to actually move them shops backwards. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. hiccuping. Um, so, yeah, we could move them shops back because there is room to do it. Yeah, oh, for sure. Oh, 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 well, there? well, but what bit. you could do is you, I mean, you could just shifted this back some and then push the shops back. But, can, but like you said, keep the overhang, right? Just have it be kind of like almost like a little indoor, indoor line for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, if that's the, if that's the only thing we can point out in this park, that's, that's incredible. I mean, I love the look too of that that curve on that coaster right there it's just perfect you're getting ahead of yourself we haven't got yeah. that yet it's yeah you're right you're right <laughs> so let's see we got a uh, valley swingers i um, love these names i'm not finding them inappropriate at all <laughs> <laughs> oh i wasn't until um until you were mentioning all this stuff <laughs> actually I, yeah, i'm not gonna lie here I'm not gonna lie though. When when I said Valley Swingers, I almost made some kind of joke, but I couldn't think of a good one. But then I'm glad you said something because I was thinking Maddie's gonna make some kind of joke here. You know that but, I will. Yeah, um, but I mean that's it's really beautiful. It looks like you got a coaster behind it. I mean the sight lines in this park. And once again, I love how this creator just made big ridge on the edge. Even though it it looks weird from the outside, if you're looking at the edge, it really has that immersion feel in the park. Um, Really cool. So Twister, let's see. This is a this is another flat ride. Yeah, I mean, just no. really, no, really beautiful. Not. Oh, that's not the flat ride. Oh, that's this yeah, one. This Valley Carousel. Ride. Yeah, Twister. That looks like it's going up towards a coaster potentially. All right. So looks like we got a some Mac coaster. I think could be one of those. Um, forget the name but yeah so what do you think of this queue oh my gosh look at that love just the interaction <laughs> um how you can see how the coast is going all around the path it goes under it it goes over it then you've got all the sight lines of all the water all the foliage all around it's just incredible i can't praise this park enough yeah and uh if you guys haven't checked it out i don't know where y'all have been the past month but maddie did a really good tutorial on um, making waterfall features or water features and putting rocks and stuff like that. And so this is definitely impressive. Um, so y'all need this to go is check. This better than the ones that I showed off in the tutorial, if honest. Well, I wasn't going to say it, but now that you said it. <laughs> yeah, they, they are. The, no, I'm the, just kidding. The, the, the rock work and the foliage work and things like that. The, I like to pride myself. I think that's one of my strongest assets in the game. Mm -hmm. is my foliage work and all this terrain like and rock work and this guy just blows me out of the water yeah um and i mean look at this pathway on these rocks and then i love too looking in the distance there just seeing the view of all those like random buildings it's just so cool like everything looks like it's on a hill and yeah just amazing once again another massive amazing station And let's uh, let's look at the stats for the coaster. This is the Copperhead Strike. So almost all green. So biggest drop, six meters. So definitely not a coaster about the hills. So it's more about speed and launches and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and ride the coaster, and we'll talk to you guys afterwards.
All right, so that was, I believe, was it Twister? Um, yeah, I mean, I think the coaster itself needed some smoothing for sure, but when you look at the, just the, I mean, just the terrain that it goes around, I mean, right away, you come down this little drop, and then you're basically going in and out of these rocks the whole time. And so the the layout is fantastic, and the concept and idea of it just being like a, it's almost like a family coaster. I don't know if family coaster is the right word, but it's more it's more geared towards like a moderate thrill, right? But then just the scenery of it just makes it fantastic. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, so I this think, is... It takes up quite a small footprint, doesn't it, as well? It's, it's not a huge uh, footprint, really. Uh, it's, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's no, not bad. No. no. Yeah, I, I think yeah. I just second what you said. Um, to be honest, the way it's been integrated into the terrain and the rock work is just stunning. Um, just the mm -hmm. interaction that it has with everything is wonderful. I loved it. I think it was incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, the terrain changes in this park, and I think it seems to me that most of the terrain changes are more like he used a lot of rocks. Is my guess. Um, instead of actually terraforming the the land a lot but i mean it it really works well like it really feels like we're in like a mountain you know um yeah 100 percent. and this is just this is insane like even here like look at this valley drop i mean you got the coaster that goes right by here you've got the wonderful which i'm definitely going to use that style for for a western building at some point that that kind of black brick or more dark brown brick but then you come up here and then you've got this this massive drop tower <laughs> like look at that view gives a hell of a view of the park doesn't it oh my gosh that's insane yeah so um let's go back down and get a little dizzy there we go now, i was hoping the coaster would come by while we were right here but yeah like i just I always wonder when like i don't know how you are maddie like when making a park but for me it's hard for me to see like a full vision of what i want the park to look like it's almost like and i'm trying to get better about that it's almost like i start with an area and it just kind of comes together right so i just yeah. try to i just try to look at this i'm like how in the world does this guy envision or this creator envision this you know i'll be honest i just wing it um, yeah. Same. Eden Gardens, I literally didn't really have any kind of plans, to be honest. I kind of just wung it and just went as, went as I went, uh, did each area by area. Mm hmm. I mean, it's amazing. Look at that. River Rapids, and where does, where does this go to? Oh, that might be the exit to the coaster. Yeah, that's the exit from the coaster. Okay. So even the exit paths are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um,. This is cool. I mean, I think saying this is cool is like an understatement. This is one of my favorite parks on console. Oh, really? Yeah. That's that's a bold statement. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just, it's that, like, it's that unique, right? Um, it's so different, and, yeah, just really, really I'm not, cool. I'm not disagreeing. I'm certainly not disagreeing with you. Mm-hmm. All right, so, I mean, once again, I mean, just look at all those rocks. <laughs> You're so uh, immersed all the time. There's, there's always something to look at. I mean, in this park, there's what? We've seen a hundred different potential thumbnails already. Yeah, no, because I was thinking. Because everywhere you look is beautiful. It's like, good luck trying to get a thumbnail for this, mate. I know, you're going to have to help me on that one, where the best thumbnail would be. Because I, don't, I have no idea where that would be. <laughs> This is, there's so many options. Um, and so here's the River Rapids, and I like how this pathway goes over the rapids. Um, I think that's a cool touch and cool feature. If you were to hazard a guess, how many rocks do you think he's used in this park? Okay, so um, in Avery Forest, and now we went over the limit, but we had a lot of, we had more rides, but we had about 42,000 pieces on the PS5, so that'd be about 30,000 pieces on the PS4, or maybe less than that. I mean, probably at least a 
four or five thousand rocks would be my guess. Yeah, I, I was going to say that would probably be my guess as well. Would be about four or five thousand rocks. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like this is the one that just left. You know what? We're gonna do. A, we're gonna go in chase mode on here, um, just to kind of get more of the view. Kind of just see the sight lines just everywhere. Sight lines. And I love this area. Like it's just it, it's so immersive. You really feel like so you're not secluded. even in a theme park anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So secluded. It's almost quite tranquil. Quite mm -hmm. peaceful. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, I definitely can get some ideas from this for making a River Rapids. <laughs> I'm looking at this park and thinking for my steampunk park, you know. Um, I'm taking some ideas for the steampunk park from this. Okay, yeah. Especially that building um, with the first ride. That yeah. We went on. That building there. Um, it definitely black work. Rock as well. I'm like, oh yeah, that'd work. Black rock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that series. By the way. Um, if I ever get started. Yeah, I know. I know. I was, I was going to say. I know it's been put on the back burner just for a little bit. Um, but it's. Uh, I'm sure it'll be Once great. Once I catch up on spotlights. <laughs> I've, got, yeah. I've still got about 10 more spotlights to film and, <laughs> and people keep asking me to do more so I'll get there eventually but um, this ride this ca these cave systems that it's going through it just the cave systems with no terrain it's just rocks yeah it's I mean it's unreal and I mean I guess that's one way to do it if you feel like you struggle making using the terrain tool because the terrain tool can be a pain in the you know what sometimes so I guess just just use a, a ton of rocks. <laughs> but this is unreal. Literally, um, train train Evan is just setting benchmarks all the way through this park. It's like benchmark how to do a ride, like and theme it. Benchmark how to do a log flume, and now we come to this benchmark how to do a river rapids. It's like every time we get to a ride that bar is just being raised higher and higher oh yeah i mean it's like if if you were to see a commercial for planet coaster console this is what i would expect on the commercial right yes. like this is what i would expect frontier to like advertise with is creations like this and i mean just the the and all the different um greenery that's used too and weeds and you've got the ivy that kind of hangs and just I mean, we can't say say enough good stuff about this part. No, no, I can, I, I agree. It's, you run out of complimentary things with parks like this as you go <laughs> on, and and you start becoming self conscious that you are just like kind of rinsing and repeating the same things over and over. It's like how many times can you say incredible or amazing or love it or fantastic? It's like you're just repeating the same words over and over and. You know what I'm like. I will always criticize. If I find something, I will always like kind of constructive criticism kind of thing. There will always Ooh. be generally something I'll try and mm -hmm. find. But this park is I haven't found anything yet. Mm -hmm. I, oh, except for I that agree. except for that little bottleneck, sorry. Except for the little bottleneck and that was just a nitpick. Yeah. Um did you notice how cool this little hill was at the end? I've yeah. never really I've never really seen this and it's it's not necessarily the terrain. It's I mean the terrain does make it cool in the rocks. But it's got a little, it goes a little bit to the left. So at the bottom, it has a little turn to it. And most hills on these, I feel like, are just completely straight. But once you go down a little bit and you start getting a little speed, then you just veer left a little bit. I thought that was a really cool touch. Good way to come back into the station. Mm-hmm. That is really cool. Um, you know, the only thing I'd say, and I think, you know, this is nitpicking, trying to find something... All the stations, at least for the past couple of rides we've been on, are the same in terms of on the inside. So I'd maybe vary it up. Like it's got those really high ceilings, which look nice, but you know, just kind of like this is the exact same station essentially as the last roller coaster we went on. It's just different building pieces, if that makes sense. Yeah. So um, just kind I of think doing an something open different. Top would have maybe worked for this, you know? Oh yeah, yeah, an open top for sure, um, or at least have some of it open, like these four pieces or something. Uh, like if you were to take that that piece off, oh, never mind. No, don't get... do that. That doesn't work. <laughs> no, nope, forgot it's a larger building like this. 
<laughs> but then when you look at the, you see you, we say that but then you look at the building and look how amazing the building is from the outside oh for sure so it's yeah look at all that waterfall oh look there at we that go waterfall in the middle of oh, that's it i'm happy that wow yeah that's oh that's unbelievable God. well and then it's like this whole ride the whole time i'm like okay where are we in relation to the park like, you have no idea because you're just by these rocks the whole time. And, I mean, I love this little going through this area. And this is just, I mean, you got the different ivy. You've got the different flowers. Just unreal. Like, and you can't see anything. You're so immersed. All right. So. I'm glad you're doing the camera work the fair for this tour, by the way. I would have got lost ages ago. <laughs> well, I'm probably doing a terrible job, so we'll we'll see. No, but you're uh, doing amazing. It's fine. It's all good. Um, yeah, and you constantly have these paths that go over it. Like I always like when you have paths that go over the water rides. I think it's nice, nice to kind of nice visual and stuff. Um, and then I wonder what these buildings are supposed to be, but they looked really cool from down low. It's, it's almost like they're supposed to be like give the look that they would be cabins on a mountain, right? Um, but man, this is this is incredible. All right, so I'm, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not being quiet because I'm ignoring you. I'm being quiet because I'm taking it all in. I'm kind of like just I, I actually forgot that was in a spotlight. I was actually that absorbed and looking <laughs> around at everything that was going on. I forgot that we were in a spotlight. Oh my! Look at that. That is steampunk. I am so stealing something like that. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, she's even got the. It's like, oh wow. That is, that is really cool. Wow. Um, and then I love this little trick he used with the path to kind of make it almost circular. Mm -hmm. And obviously we got more rock work here. So this path is just supported on the rocks. Um, I kind of have a feeling that we're going to want to ride this one at night as well. Or we could do a daytime and nighttime ride. I'll leave that up to you. All right, so this is, I mean, once again, I mean, this queue, I love it when the coaster comes right by the queue. It gets you ready for what you're about to, what you're about to embark on. Every queue line and every exit path has been really well themed. I mean, look how close you come to the track. Like, that's amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah. I see I what see. you mean now with the station. Yeah, it's like it's like it's the same station each time, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just you know you can kind of if we're gonna try to find a, a um, constructive critique, you know, maybe try to vary it up a little bit. Like even just adding beams across or something, you know, kind of varies it up. Um, but yeah, so this is Firewood Escape, and oh my gosh, all green and wow, not just all green, stats. seven point two. The results so um okay g's our lateral g's might be a little bit high but overall this looks good biggest drop so that's a little bit over 100 feet um three airtime hills so uh let's ride the coaster and we'll talk to you guys afterwards All right, so, Maddie, what are your thoughts about that uh, that coaster? I thought it was absolutely superb, once again. Um, really, really smooth. I love how close it seems to come to everything. Mm -hmm. um, some of the triggers that were going off as we went around. 
I do have one tiny weeny little critique and mm-hmm. I've actually found something that I would like to critique. I felt it came into the station very, very quickly. Yeah, um, I agree with I that. I think there could have been a extended brake run um, mm-hmm. as it came into the station. But literally, I think that is probably the only thing I've critiqued the entire park. I think it was fantastic. I think it was really, really well done. Yeah, I agree. I'm trying to find where the station is. Um, nope, that's not the station. I was trying to find where the station so we could kind of find it. Um, yeah, I think this is a fantastic coaster. I think it's really smooth. The only thing I would say is I feel like the majority of the banking is going right. Like, I know that's not the case here, but if we follow along the track, there's a stretch where I think it's once you get up here, you go and you start banking, and it's almost like for, like, 20 seconds you're banked right. Um, and so it's like here you're going banking right, you're still banked right, still banked right. Oops, can't control this. Still banked right. So it's like this whole time you're banking to the right and even just slightly banking. So there is no smoothing back out. And so then it's like you smooth out again, but then you start banking right. So I feel like that's just my only critique a little bit is that the banking was not even to where it's kind of really geared towards one side, riding the coaster on one side of the car, if that makes sense, you know? Um, I was actually going to disagree with you, but then when okay. you actually said that, that makes sense. So, like, kind of, I get what you mean, actually. So if you were sat on the right-hand side of the car, you wouldn't get the same experience that somebody was sat on the left-hand side of the car would. Right. So, yeah, actually, do you know what? That makes sense. I didn't agree with what you were saying until you made that point at the very end. And then I was like, actually, yes. Yeah, okay, I see what I see where you're coming from, and I agree with you. Yeah, and it, I mean, I could be totally wrong with that, but I feel like most coasters generally have about an even amount of banking in terms of turns to each direction, right? And, you know, there are some coasters that obviously, like, where you sit is going to, like, depends on being a better, better ride or not. Like, for example, if anybody's been to Six Flags Over Texas, there's a coaster there where... Um, when it hits the mid-course brake run, it comes to a complete stop almost. And then it does kind of like a, it banks left as it goes down the hill out of the mid-course brake run. So if you're sitting on the left seat, you can basically like literally lean, almost lean off the coaster. Like it is a really cool experience. (laughs) Um, So it's like in that instance, you know, like obviously that seat, if you're in like the, especially the front row on the left side, like you get the best experience. But in terms of a coaster, like the whole time, I just, I, I just feel like it's a little bit overbanked to one direction. Um, but I mean, that's not, that does not take away from how amazing of a coaster it is. No, incredible. Same, same as the whole park. Mm -hmm. It's just mind blowing. Yeah. Let's see how this area looked at night real quick. And then we can, uh, give our final thoughts. I think we've missed one building potentially. Um, Missed one building. Okay. If you turn right on the top of the hill, no, turn right. Um, go back that way, yeah. Kind of like keep going that way. So, over the path, over, 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 straight ahead of you now. That great this one right building here. That's on, yeah, on the back of that hill there. What was that building there? Um, I think it's just an extra building. Yeah. That's it's just, just a like, just decoration, isn't it? Yeah. But even though it's not necessarily part of the park in the sense of being a ride station or anything like that he's still like taking the time to put that building on top of the hill and yeah. it like kind of it was decorated in as much detail as the rest of the park mm-hmm. and you know what i love about the lighting too what's that it's all the same like literally other than that one part of that coaster that's a little bit red it doesn't matter if it's the lights on the building or the lights on the pathway or the lights on the the rides. It's all that soft, soft yellow or like that yellowish, yellowish lighting, and so it looks yeah, very it's consistent. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Look at that swing right there. That chair swing in the background. That just looks beautiful. It does. It looks ace. Yeah, man, that's really cool. All right, so I mean, what was your favorite ride in this park? It could be a coaster. It could be could be a flat ride or not flat oh. ride could be one of the water rides do you know what that's a difficult question <laughs> they're all so that's good actually <laughs> because they're all so good um it would be between the first ride that we went on mm-hmm. or 
and I don't think I've ever said this in a park before, or the log flume. Yeah. Um, it was it was a toss up between them two, um, but but that's not to detract from many of the others because they were all fantastic. It's just that them two were so good. Oh yeah. Well, it's like it's funny that you say that because. Like, my favorite coaster in terms of, like, I do, like, I think the the theming around the coaster with the Gerslauer one was just one of the best I've seen. I think as a coaster, I think I would enjoy riding this coaster more. Um, but in terms of my favorite ride in the park, it's between the River Rapids and Log Flume. Like, just the, how both of those are themed, like, it, it just, it's probably going to be Log Flume. I mean, they were just both so incredible. And then especially with the log flume that it kind of mixed the um, Wild West style with also the, there's a couple like real tranquil moments where you're kind of like, even just right here, where you kind of feel secluded. Um, and so I thought that was just phenomenal. Have you ever done a park before where you would have considered the water rides to be the best rides in the park? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So, it, it not probably. Even close. Yeah, I mean, there's that's that's a definite no. I mean, this is just amazing. Um, and once this again, this is the type of park that you would come to if this was a park in real life. You know, like kind of people would say, like, um, oh, have you been to Alden Towers before? But yeah, I've been to Alden Towers. Oh, did you go on Nemesis? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I went on Nemesis. Oh, what did you think? This is the type of park where people would be like, did you go on the River Rapids? Oh, yeah. And it's like, what kind of park in the world would you have where people would be like, oh, did you go on the log flume? It's like. In, in what world would you say that? Yeah. It's, well, it's like, just not the dumb thing. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like there's a coaster park that's close to me or closer. It's called Silver Dollar City, and they've actually, their River Rapids is pretty famous because it was built a couple of years ago, but it's actually got a lift. Like, literally, it lifts the rapids up to the last drop, and it's got, like, the largest wow. drop of any rapids, but it's literally like it takes it up in an elevator. Like, it's one of the most unique strangest coolest things that you'll see on a river rapids but yeah i mean Frontier, this i hope you're listening planco 2 please yeah um but yeah i mean once again i you know when you look at it this way seeing that edge of the park is like uh, i don't like seeing that but then it just is so good for immersion right because you truly feel like you feel like you are you are in these mountains and that these mountains just extend forever like, you don't realize that there's all this space in between the actual park and the mountains, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm about to say something, and I apologize in advance to you and Corey in particular. I felt that Avery Forest was insanely immersive, like mm -hmm. really, really immersive. I think this park outdid it. And oh, I agree with I that. I don't say that lightly. Because Avery Forest was so good, and you felt so immersed in the entire park, but this takes it up a notch. Yeah, I, uh, I dude, I agree with you, and um, I mean, I, there's not much else to say about this park other than it's like I said, it's one of the best I've seen on console. Um, I think Jasmine and I were talking the other day about at the end of the year putting something together like our favorite parks or doing little snippets from some of our favorite park tours that we've done and uh, this one would definitely be on there <laughs> yeah um it doesn't it, surprise me it's amazing that the two park tours we've done together have been like two of the best parks on console <laughs> yeah I, well, you do have one more thing to say though actually uh-huh three paired what three weird park review oh yeah i was thinking in my mind i was like i gotta come up with something else to throw you off um uh, you have to be up earlier than that to catch me out, mate. Yeah, that's true. Um, um, incredibly immersive park. Oh, nice. Oh, I like that. I like that. Mine would actually be Hidden Gem Found in relation to the creator. I think yep. we found a superstar here. I generally yeah. do. Um, this person needs to reach out to us. He really does. Um, yeah, absolutely. We'll try I mean, to... if you don't, I've got some closing out thoughts as well, if you don't mind. Oh, absolutely. Um, might be a bold statement, might be a bit controversial, but I would actually say, and I don't say this lightly, I would say this is as good as, if not better, than some of NH99's parks. And I 
everyone who knows me knows how highly I rate NH99. I genuinely believe he is one of the best creators on console or anything, full stop. And I think this is as good as as good as if not better. Yeah. And I don't use that lightly and I don't like saying it. It feels dirty coming out of my own mouth. But this is <laughs> this is sensational. Um and I've said so many times this is my favourite park I've ever seen. That's the best thing I've ever seen. And I think people like kind of think, well, he says that about everything. But I genuinely think it with this one. I think this is the best creation I've ever seen. Yeah, and I I tend to agree with you on that. Um, sorry, NH. Um, we're probably both cringing in our seat saying this um, because you're, you're just unreal. And just to show you guys how highly we think of this park and this creator, I mean... Everybody knows how good NH is, and when I reviewed NH's latest park, I said he is the silver red of console. And so, um, to me, like this creator is right there in terms of how immersive this creator has made this park. Um, this has just basically been an, uh, almost an hour long of us talking about how amazing this. <laughs> we we keep running out of we keep repeating the same thing over and over. But I mean, yeah, what else can you say about this park? nothing else to say is there i, th I think we've mm -hmm. literally used every single positive thing we can possibly say absolutely all right so um any other thoughts no no i don't think so just thank you ever so much for having me along and thank you for introducing me to this park because this would have gone past that this was under my radar unfortunately so thank you ever so much for having me it's been a absolute blast I've, I've really enjoyed it and it's been a pleasure doing another spotlight with you and let's, here's to doing more and more in the future absolutely bud all right well i appreciate you joining me for this and even though we had the the troubles with the audio um we got it worked out and yeah i mean this is an amazing park and it's been a blast um talk to you later maddie have a good one take care thank you everybody all right guys have a great rest of y'all's day